Welcome to Module 11. This is where we're going to talk about Focus Explorer. This is a labor market piece that has added on to our Focus career. Uh, what it will do is it will actually give you a wealth of information about the job market, what's in demand, and what you can do to get to a particular job. So without further ado, you can see that you can access that from the top tab up here. You can also get to it from the home dashboard. There's a section on the right hand side that will look just like this menu here so that you can uh, shortcut directly to it. Uh, here on the Explore Career tab, you'll notice they do have a keyword search here which will show you anywhere in the app, anywhere in the Explore piece that a particular keyword is displayed. That can be useful if you know exactly what you're looking for. Like for for example, if you're looking for nursing degrees, you could put nursing in and it will find anywhere that shows up for the word nurse. So that that's a useful option if you don't know what you're looking for. The rest of these options uh, are kind of, you can browse through it and find out what you're looking for. So let's just go through each of them. The first one is explore my career and internship options. This is kind of your generic show me what's in demand. And you'll see here, uh, you can narrow it down to a specific state, for example, Kentucky and a metro area. We're just going to go ahead and choose all of Kentucky, hit go. And it just defaults to showing you the top 10 jobs that are in demand in any career area in all of Kentucky. Uh, regardless of what degree you have. Now you will have filters up here and you also have a bookmark at any time. You can bookmark the information that you've displayed so you don't have to rerun a search. These filters can be changed to different things at any time so that you can navigate to different parts of Explorer. But I just want to go through some of the information that you'll be able to receive right away. Uh, you see it, it's sorted by hiring demand. You do have an infographic over here of salary, and which is very simple to understand. The more dollar signs you see, the more money that job pays on average. Each of these jobs also has a little bullseye. This has substantial openings for people with less than three years of experience, so that's good to know for entry level. Uh, you can also view more than 10 if you change the number of results here. And see all of the, almost all of these jobs have that bullseye. There's a few once you get down towards the bottom uh, that do require a bit more experience than three months. Now it's by hiring demand. You'll see it does start to go from very high to high. And if, if you hover over anything, it tells you actually what percentile each of those represents. Let's go ahead and view one in particular. So if you're interested in one, you just go ahead and click it. It will pop up into a new window. You'll see here, uh, it'll tell me more about registered nurse. Even this pop-up can be bookmarked. It can also be emailed or printed out. This could be in good information that you want to bring with you somewhere. Uh, first off, it summarizes the information here at the top and also gives you common titles that are used that may be a little different from registered nurse, so you can tell the difference. First section has salary and hiring trends. It's gonna give you averages based on the geographic area you chose and also the national average. In the next section, we get in-demand employers. This will actually show you uh, employers who have posted at least 10 jobs in the last year. Section three, broken into different types of categories of skills. You can see that it'll show you the top skills that are shown for each one. And at any time, all of these are links to take you to another article to tell you more about other jobs that may also need that skill. So for example, if you know a lot about PowerPoint, what other jobs require that? And you can view up to 50 of those, you can see. And then you can see which employers have asked for this particular software skill. You can see quite a few. 
And then if you click where can I study this, it'll actually take you over to a search page. We're gonna look at that in just a minute. So I'm gonna go back. And again, you can always bookmark the info. And if you're on an article and you're also interested in one of these other courses, you see there's a whole thing about English as a second language, high school equivalency diplomas, the National Career Readiness, and the Essential Skills Certificate. If you click on that, it'll also take you to a search box. So let's say I'm interested in the NCRC. If I click that, I can put a zip code in, and it'll show me all the providers within 25 miles of that zip code that can get me in touch with National Career Readiness Certificate. Now, most of them are gonna be adult education centers because they do have one in every county. But you can also receive that at the Kentucky Career Center in Lexington. You see Joe Paul is the uh, contact. This will actually give you all of their contact information or you can also have it emailed to them by clicking on this little email icon. You can also view the website for adult ed or KCC by clicking here. Now you may also just reach out to them by t calling them or emailing them, which you can see their contact information's right here. All right, we're gonna go back into Explorer. So I'm just gonna hit, I'm gonna go back to the main search. Let's go ahead and run that again. And you see registered nurses near the top. I'm gonna go to jobs, registered nurse, pick up where we left off. So we were on required skills. You can also get education. And you see these, they will actually break it down into bachelor, graduate, or associate. And you see it'll show you, okay, what's the minimum, minimum degree that was required for this particular job? Now, what's good about this is if you are interested in this, you can go in, like for example, bachelor degree of nursing. Just go ahead and click on that. And when you're in here, you can click where can I study this, and it's actually gonna take you to a search very similar to the one we were previously on, where you can put a zip code in and find providers, which in this case, rather than being adult ed centers would be various uh, post-secondary educational sites. Okay. And you see here, it, it shows the degrees and certificates that are in demand as well. Let's go back to where we were. I should have bookmarked that. <laughs> Let's just go into one of these. Um, I'm gonna find Actually, let's say, okay, I was interested in looking at registered nurse. I'm gonna type in nurse up here into my keyword search and hit go. And there we go. Um, registered nurse is right here. Let's pick up where we left off. So if we're talking about education, you can find out where you can get that degree, but you can also learn about exper what experience do I need. A lot of people are able to go straight into it or with very minimal experience or within two to five years. There are several, there are additional jobs here. You see there's nine other jobs that have similar education and skills sorted by demand. Then you have career paths. This is important to know like, okay, if you have questions about where can I go from here or how do I get to this position? These are some of the jobs people had prior to being a registered nurse. And once they were a registered nurse, where did they go from there? And you see it'll show you up to two levels. If you wanna learn more about one of the particular jobs, like let's say you wanna learn, okay, if I become a registered nurse, I wanna learn more about what their supervisors do and how much they're paid, you can view that here. And it's got the same information. This information is updated every six months with the previous 12 months of data. So it's a, it does update every six months with the prior year's worth so that you can, you'll get fresh information about the job demand. It's not updated real time, it's just way too much information 
uh, to be updated on a real-time basis, but the information is dumped into our system every six months with a year's worth, and the prior data is then purged. Uh, when you are viewing a particular job like this one, you can actually click See Current Postings over here on the right, and that will take you back over to Focus Career, and you'll be able to view this particular job opening, if there's one available, in, your, in the geographic area you're looking for. All right, so let's go back to the main Explore Careers. So that's your basic, uh, just show me what's in demand in that particular area, let me navigate around. Let's look at some of the other options. This second option, again, has a geographic search, but when you click Next, it actually lets you research a specific thing. Now, the first one's just your catch-all, show me career options. But let's say you know exactly what you're looking for. You can look for a particular certificate or associate degree, bachelor's degree, or graduate. Or let's say a particular job. You type a job title in, it'll find the closest occupational code to it. And lastly, if you know an employer's name that happens that has posted a job in the last 12 months, you can type that in here and it will find matches. For example, See here, it'll actually show what their hiring demand has been, what have they hired, and what skills were they looking for. And then you can actually pivot over to Focus Career and view the postings for that order. I think the important thing to remember about all of this, these are very good tools that you want to highlight to a job seeker. They may not be taking advantage of this. Uh, especially useful if they're right out of high school, uh, if they just finished a degree, um, or if they just got out of a job that in an industry that's declining and they want to look for a new career, this will actually show them what's in demand, what are some things they can get training in that, don't, that may not require a lot of uh, experience to be able to get into. Next. What can I study to get ahead? Again, you got a geographic search. But then this time, you can research degrees and certificates that are in demand and skills that are in demand. When you click Go here, it's going to show me the top 10 of each type. And like I showed you before, when you click on one of them, you can click Where Can I Study This and actually go to a search page to try and find a uh, training provider at a post-secondary school. Then lastly, where, where can my experience take me? Again, if I want to look in Kentucky, you can put your job title in here, or you can even put your military occupational code, which is very useful for somebody right out of the military to either crosswalk their skills and in and their military experience to civilian jobs. So this is Explorer. I would definitely recommend as a staff that you take the time uh, to walk your job seekers through this once they've completed their resume, especially if they don't know exactly what they're looking for, uh, if they don't, or if they're not, if they're having a lot of trouble trying to get back into the same industry that they left. Uh, you can show them what's in demand and see if any of those things interest them. And if so, they may be able to go back and get training for that particular skill. So that is Focus Explorer. In the next module, we're gonna go back into Focus Assist and show you how you can use Assist uh, to do various actions with Job Seeker records.